guys, Karen Muster of Mucking Fuster here today to share with you these really awesome rainbow water marble nails. These are kind of an homage to some recent tutorials that I've done, which you can see right there, right there. Um, for the first two minutes of the video, I'm going to be showing you guys uh, how to prep your nails. So if you just want to see the water marble tutorial, you can skip ahead. Alright, so let's go ahead and get started. Before we start the water marble, I wanted to show you guys how I actually prep my nails. So I use this cuticle remover. I just apply that to my nails and with an orange stick and then gently remove it, uh, remove my cuticles and any like remaining polish that might be on my cuticles away. After I wash the cuticle remover off, I soak my nails in cuticle cream and cuticle oil. This combination just helps hydrate them really nicely. After those soak in, I use some lotion and then I wash my hands off with this little scrub right here. Now that I have my hands washed, I apply a base coat of OPI Nail Envy. This is a really good base coat to help keep, keep get your nails kind of healthy and stronger. So now that I've shown you guys how to prep your nails, let's go ahead and start with the actual water marble. So the supplies you'll need are a base coat of white some polishes that work good in the water. These ones from Pipe Dream Polish are some of my favorites to use. You'll also need something to keep your finger from getting polish on it, so a latex barrier or some masking tape will do. And then you're also going to need a cup of room temperature filtered water. I'm using a three ounce plastic cup that I got from Walmart. The tools you'll need to make the water marble are a tool, like a pointy tool, to make the actual design. Uh, you can use a water marble tool or a cute little stick. And then you need some scissors to cut your latex or tape off, as well as tweezers to remove it, and then a stick to pick up the polish that's going to be on top of the water. And the equipment you'll need to clean up is just a dish to put polish remover in, some q-tips, and then a brush to remove any polish around your cuticles. Now to start the water marble. First begin by painting your nails with a base coat of white and then cover them up with either tape, as you can see I'm doing here, one piece around your nail, around the cuticle, um, and then one piece around the rest of your nail, and or you can use um, liquid latex, which you simply apply to your nails with a paintbrush and then let dry. Now that I have my fingers all painted and prepped, I can begin dripping my polishes into the water. Today I'll be using Pipe Dream Polish's Street Carnival Collection, which work really, really well in the water. One thing about water marbling is you have to find polishes that do work well in the water, meaning that once it's spread, they don't dry fast. So some brands that I like to recommend to people that are just starting out water marbling are OPI, Zoya, some Sally Hansen colors work as well. For this type of water marble, having so many colors, I'm using um, two drops of the purple, blue, green, and yellow colors, and then just one drop each of the orange and pink, pink, meaning just one ring of those colors. On your second set of colors, using the purple, blue, green, and yellow, make sure that you're doing a tiny bit less, uh, you're dropping with less on the brush because this is going to help with um, getting a nice, neat design. So now you can begin creating the water marble with your um, tool that you're using. And to do this, just begin by going from the outer part of the cup to the middle of the circle, and then doing that same movement from onto the opposite side. And then when you get into the middle of the cup, make sure to kind of just gently dip your tool into the water. Always making sure to wipe off your tool after you use it, because this way you'll have a nice neater um, design. So just keep doing the same motion, um, creating kind of like a flower um, petal design. As you can see, I'm not dragging from the outermost layers of the um, polish because those layers are already kind of dry and they would drag the design and mess it up. Once you've got the nice petal design, if you need to, you can move your cup to make it easier to dip your nail onto the water. So once you've got it lined up, Dip your nail gently onto the surface of the water and then submerge your finger into the cup. Make sure you don't touch the sides of the cup, you'll be very sad. <laughs> and then after the polish that's on the water dries, just pick it up a uh, little gently with the tool that you're using. So now you can just kind of cut off your latex and peel it off with some tweezers. Um, or if you're using tape, then just take off the uh, pieces that you put on. 
Then just take a brush dipped in nail polish remover um, and remove all the excess nail polish that's around your cuticles. And of course, always top coat your design with a nice shiny top coat. So thank you guys so much for watching my design today. I love rainbows. It's my favorite color, um, if you didn't know that already. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please just comment. And as always, like and subscribe. Thanks so much. Have a great day.